Good morning. This is the ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Wednesday, November 25th, 2015. So it is Thanksgiving Eve. And one of the things that we do today is food prep. And then later this afternoon, we'll be heading to the in-laws for the weekend. I make deviled eggs. It's my thing. I make it every Thanksgiving and Christmas. And we've got three eggs in the house. So, yeah, that doesn't really work. So I'm off to Kroger's to get some eggs amongst other things. So what I thought I'd talk about today is another podcast I've been listening to. I've actually been listening to it for a while, but I never did, I never talked about it here. Um, it's it's a show I got introduced to by the wife because she actually ended up writing a story for it, and they accepted it, and they they played it, or they recorded it, I should say. But it's called the Melting Podcast. So Melting Pot with a T with cast slapped on the end. It is got three three uh, hosts and and they do kind of a food cooking theme, you know. So you've got the head chef who is AF Grappen and um, and then I forget what, what you know, there, there's a co-host. I forget what her title is. They got some culinary title for her. I don't remember. She's not sous chef. I'm not sure what it is. You can go look it up. I, I did and probably forgot. Uh, named uh, Aaron Kazmark. And steady people. And then you've got uh, Theo Kazmark, her husband, and he's like the, 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 the they call him like the, uh, the dishwasher, the chief dishwasher or something like that. He's, he's, he's kind of the, the huddled masses of the podcast. And so they, they, they give prompts. They usually have a couple of prompts active at any given time. And they ask people to write stuff and, and, and send it in. And, and as they say, they'll feed the masses. And it's, it's a fun little show. Uh, Aaron and, and, and AF have a really good chemistry together. They're friends, you know, so, uh, or at least they say they're friends. You know, as much as you can believe anything on a podcast, they say they're friends. I believe it. They act like friends. And then they got several different. Um, they have several different levels of fiction. So they've got what they call Stoke the Fire, which are flash fiction of, I think, 1,500 or less. And then they have main entrees, which are full-blown short stories. They've got um, seasoning, which is, you know, every now and then they'll have an interview with an author. And then they got bots recipes, which are bloopers, and those are always a lot of fun. Um, but you know, a- AF acts like this guy who's yeah, he's a little whiny, but he's he's also very fun loving, and and Aaron is just delightfully devious. And I'm gonna go on a podcasting limb here and say. For my money, she's got the cutest personality in podcasting. She's just fun to listen to. And uh, she's really fun to listen to when she gets, when she's trying to be devious and trying to be sneaky. Um, it can be a lot of fun. So, and, and so what they do is they, people write short stories and, or, or flash fiction pieces and send them in. And then they will record them. And, you know, and you'll get... Um, you will get uh, a, a short story or maybe a few of the Stoke the Fire flash pieces to listen to. Um, the interviews, they haven't done a ton of interviews, but they've been, they've been the ones they've had have been interesting. Um, I, I do find their method a little annoying because for some reason, 
And, and I get that they may be doing this as part of the recording. I know it's it's a common recording practice if you're doing something off of Skype that you, you split up the signals so that so that one person's in the left stereo channel and the other one's in the right. But you know, most people will, if they're doing that, most people will, you know, make it full stereo. And, and, and these guys haven't. They've, you know, they leave it so you've got AF in one ear and you got whoever he's interviewing in the other ear, and that's kind of annoying. I think, for a couple of reasons. First of all, I just it, it gets, I don't know. I just I just don't like the the feeling I got two people one on each side of me talking. And the other thing is, you know, there are times where I might want to listen to something and only have one earbud in. Because maybe I'm trying to, you know, hear if something goes else happens in my environment. And you can't do that with that kind of interview. So that's, that, you know, that's a, that's a wee bit annoying. Um, but, you know, that's, you know, hardly, hardly, you know, a horrible thing. What other cool things can I say about this podcast? They'll sometimes have guest people read the stories. Um, I, and, of course, right now I'm drawing a blank. They may have had, they may have had an Obilis read one. I'm not sure. The stories themselves have been entertaining. Uh, I'm not quite sure what their editorial policies are. Um, if they take everything they get, or or if they, you know, try to keep to a certain level. But I haven't had any real major problems with anything they've had. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty family friendly. You know, there's no erotica or anything on it. Uh, and most of the stories tend to be, you know, fairly lighthearted. Every now and then you get. You get one that's got a darker theme, but you're not, it's really not, you know, death and destruction all the time kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, check it out. If you're looking for a fun short story podcast, then then I'd say uh, check out the Melting Podcast. I've been listening to it now for probably six months or close to it, and uh, I've been really enjoying it. So, hopefully, you will too. And if you try it out and you like it, uh, let me know. Let me know that, that this little review uh, helped lead you to a uh, interesting podcast. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I will be back, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I will take I will take Thanksgiving off and not do a podcast. So if you're in the U.S., let me wish you and yours a happy Thanksgiving. I will uh, be back on Friday, probably broadcasting from maybe outside the in-laws' house. Uh, when I need to get a little space, I'll go outside and record a podcast. Uh, so I guess I'll be talking to you then. So until Friday, be seeing you.